Hey guys, I am way excited to be able to do a Getting Started Right call with you guys and help you guys um, have the foundation of your business to rock your business, like literally. So let's just dive right in into our new coach call. And first of all, I want to see if you guys have any questions about Coach University. Um, and you know, so far you went over the first things first, you learned how to create, you know, make sure you're profile your cover photo were good what you know how to consistently post to increase activity post or eye catching all that kind of stuff and um, then you watch the video on your coach online office the share cart your eft management your new coach non-negotiables you learned learned about the vital behaviors hitting success club and what it means to go emerald guys these right here are the big ones the new coach non-negotiable the vital behaviors, hitting success club, and going emerald. Because you have to know and understand these things to have your business grow. And not only do you need to know about them, you need to do them every single day. That's just going to make your business grow. So let's go over those real fast. Do you have questions about what it means? Um, do you understand what it takes to hit success club? What it means? Um, because you are going to hit success club this month. That is your non-negotiable. That's what you signed up to do. That's what you're going to make happen. You are going to go emerald in the first two weeks of your business. That's what you signed up to. Finding two people, it's you plus two. One can be a spouse. One can be a friend. One can want it for the discount. One can want to build a business just like you. Um, but yeah, like that's what you signed up to. So let's do it. And that's what tonight's conversation is going to be about is how to hit success club, how to do the vitals to make sure you're getting them done every single day so that you can go emerald and hit success club. So um, tomorrow in Coach University, the next unit is the business activity tracker. This is what you need to do every single day. You need to be proof of the product. Okay, you need to take care of yourself before you can help others. So you've got to be proof of the product and you've got to be doing your personal development. If you are doing those things, you're going to feel at your very best so that you can help others do the exact same thing. So those are the most crucial. I don't want to say they're the most important because they're all just as important, but as a new coach, those two things you have to be doing so that you can do the other two vital behaviors, which is inviting people and recognizing people, right? So this is what you need to be doing every single day. You can easily work this business in two hours a day and build a six figure income along the way. If you're doing these things consistently and you're talking to people daily and that's what this business activity tracker does it doesn't have to be perfect but you got to use it from day one guys and um, if you've got to own up if you don't do your workout own up to it don't mark it own up to it check with your coach show them these things every single day write down your weekly goals your monthly goals and um, write down all the meetings you're that you need to be on the tribe team call the national wake-up call and um, if you have anything to do list that you need to make sure that you do Track your business. Where are you in your success club points at the end of the week? Where are you with your commissions? Um, all that kind of stuff with your rank. All that kind of stuff is on your business activity tracker, which will lead you to hitting success club and going emerald that first month of your business. So make sure you're using your business activity tracker every single day um, to grow your business. So today we're going to talk about social media um, and then turning that into how to talk to people about the business. So let's just dive right in, talk about social media and what it is. First of all, you have to be you. You have to be the real you. You have to not be me, not be Breezy, not be Brittany. You've got to be you and speak from your heart and use your voice to speak. Um, because as you know, we're not selling Beachbody. We're selling you. People aren't going to be interested in the products. They're going to be interested in you and your results and your happiness and everything that you're bringing to the table. That's what's going to get people into your challenge groups. That's what's going to get people to join your team is being you and being the unapologetically you. I am not the perfect coach for everyone, and you're not going to be the perfect coach for everyone. That's why there's lots of us, guys. But you're going to relate and connect with people that I would never in 100 years be able to connect with because I've never walked in your shoes. And so as you share your story and your strengths and your passions and what you love, um, people are going to love that and want to join you and trust you to be their coach and to be their mentor as they decide to build a business as well. So the next thing is stay within your brand. And I would say pick your five. What are five things that describe you? 
that make you you. Now, maybe it's before Beach Body, or maybe it's after, and they may evolve over time. But for me, it's you know my faith is very important to me. Being a mom is very important to me. Being a teacher and being organized and having structure is something I'm good at. That's something I can share with other people and add value to people's lives. Um, so pick five things. Maybe you come from a single family. Maybe you're super good at sewing. You can add value by sharing these sewing things with people. And um, maybe you are a full-time mom or you're a full-time, you know, worker, you work corporate America and that's who you are and that's who you're going to attract. And so pick your five, whether it's right now or who you are in general or who you were before a beach body, maybe you're going to cover, you know, addiction. Um, you know, though that's who you are. So share that, own it and open up about it because that's just going to inspire people. Um, like I said, to join you in your challenge groups and to join you in your team and building a business. So, um, then Instagram stories to quality posting. This is one of my favorite tips slash tricks I teach my coaches is guys, your Instagram stories show a glimpse of your life every single day, right? It's glimpses of who you are, what you do, what it looks like every single day. So, Every day, you're going to take some of those, maybe it's one, maybe it's a couple of those posts, and write out what that story actually represents, what that picture represents. So maybe, and I'll show you pictures, um, it's your kid who has acid reflux and it's coming out their nose, okay? So you can do a funny Instagram story about that, but then on my Instagram wall, my Facebook wall, I'm going to write out what it is the struggle is of that picture of what it's like to be exhausted 24 seven as a mom, because I'm up all night dealing with acid reflux and how she can't lay down because she just screams and she wants to be held all day. So that picture of it coming out her nose is going to turn into something that's a quality post that other moms might be able to relate with other newborn moms or people who might be able to give me advice who have been in those shoes. That's going to turn from a, um, just posting like, oh, my kid has acid reflux to help me. What can I do? How can I help you overcome this as well? And so that's where you're going to take your quality posts and write them out. Your, your, your instant. It's not about quality. It's about, or not about quantity. It's about quality. And so that's what your story right now is what's going to inspire others um, to, like I said, join in with you. Um, and then Instagram hashtags, pick 30 hashtags that describe your life. Don't do mainstream like Team Beachbody or 21 Day Fix or Stay at Home Mom. Find Instagram tags that are dialed into you. The more unique they are, the better. Um, because people, when they are millions and millions and millions of people use that same hashtag, you're going to get lost in the static, right? But if you can find one that only 1,000 people, to 2,000 people are using, um, you know, that's going to built to you and you're going to be seen more by people looking at those same exact hashtags. So make sure that you're using them as we go. Um, so like I said, you're going to pick your five. Here are my personal five. I'm a mom. I'm a mom first. That's who I am. I'm a stay at home mom. Um, and so a lot of my posting is about mom life, infertility and miscarriages guys. That's who I am. That's my story. That's what I've dealt with for the past 10 years of my life. And um, that's how I can help other moms explain what testing I have had done and how to overcome or deal with loss, um, you know, having dealt with that myself and um, before this as a first grade teacher. So I can add a lot of value in learning or teaching your kids how to read and keeping them engaged in school and all those kind of things. That's where my um, strength is, is helping other people. And um, because that's what I did for five years as well with my life as I taught first grade. And so I can add a lot of value to people um, with that as well. And um, my coach life, and um, this is who I am. I'm, you know, so that I talk about that a lot and my faith in my family um, is very important to me. So, you know, I'm not going to connect people that may not, um, but, you know, I can connect with a lot of people, but I can connect more people with people who believe in certain things that I believe in and I can express that. And if they don't like that I'm sharing about God because they're atheists, then that's fine, you know, and um, they can unfollow me, but that's who I am and that's who I'm going to connect with. And so, um, you know, don't be afraid to be you. Um, you can see like these are quality posts that I've turned into and I can kind of click on some of these and show you um, some real life posts that I've created inside my target audience, right? Um, you know, it's real, it's raw, it's ugly, but you know what? I can connect with people because of it. 
Um, this isn't something, you know, 28 people liked. I had some comments on it. Um, this is who I am. You can look at some other acid reflex. You know, we talked about um, an acid reflex that my, my little girl has. And so you can see that I posted about it. And I turned an Instagram story over into a real life post. Um, so yeah, it's a funny looking picture. People might laugh, but the struggle's real. You can see that 106 people liked it and there's 37 comments about people, you know, going through and saying, you know, here's my advice. Oh, you poor thing. Like I can relate all that kind of stuff. But I'm talking to other moms. I'm staying within my brand when I talk to people. Um, infertility and miscarriage. You know, you can see um, this. Here's a real raw, ugly picture of me bawling because of my water broke at 22 weeks. That may be relatable to some people. Um, pregnancy problems is relatable to other people. That's my story, and I can connect with other people. Um, guys, you know, 498 you know, like 739 comments, people sharing. Um, that's who I am. And I'm going to stay within my brand when I talk to people. When I talk to people, I'm going to talk about teaching. And I'm going to talk about all that kind of stuff because that fits in who I am as a person. Uh, faith and family, you know, be the good. I'll share, you know, show you a couple of these uh, faith posts that I created um, that were quality posts that people have engagement on because um, it's, it's real. Um, you know, this is just a little quote that I had created and, you know, it was shared several times. Um, 375 people, you know, liked it, 20 comments. Um, so many things here happening because I decided to talk about, um, the errand of angels and, you know, how important we are as women and a girl who could see me struggling and crying in the coals came up to me and held my baby while I was able to take care of stuff that was happening during Christmas at Kohl's. And so realize that you are not talking to everyone. You're talking to your brand. You're talking to your peeps, right? <laughs> and so, um, you know, little things like this, you know, why you coach, I'm back, you know, after having struggles and after dealing with bed rest and stuff, I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. Here I am, you know, 56 people engaged, you know, liked this. Um, we have comments on this, 14 comments, and people are actually engaged simply because I created a post about I'm back. I'm done, um, you know, with everything. I can finally be me again after being on bed rest and having a C-section and a hysterectomy at 32 years, 33 years old. So, and there's a bunch of these you can go through and click on. And I also need this link. You know, you have this link so you can click on these different examples and, you know, use your voice to talk to people on social media. And moving on to the next one, you know, we talked about building the contact list. We'll go into this more in detail. Um, you'll go into this more in unit nine, I want to say. Um, yes, Unit 9 will talk kind of more in depth of how to build a contact list so that you can start talking to people. But I'll kind of go over the basics of it. Guys, this business is simply about talking to people. Um, it's simply having people in mind and thinking, oh, I really wish I could help Sarah. She's struggling with self-esteem. She's struggling with emotional eating. She doesn't want to come out in public. She's dealing with social anxiety. I would love to help her. Write her name down because whether it's today, whether it's a year from now or five years, you're going to help her and she's going to follow you in your story. And so people might not join you that first month and they'll say no to you guys. I told my coach no so many times, but she never gave up on me. She continued to build a relationship with me, non beach body talk. But she told me about testing I could have for my miscarriages. She told me that there was other women dealing with this, that I didn't have to do this alone, that I could be part of this amazing community to open up and deal with it. These are people that you want to put down on your contact list. When people have a friend um, or if you have a birthday, you can write their name down your contact list and just start talking to them, non-beach body talk, guys. It's simply about building relationships and talking to people. That's what's going to make you a successful coach. That is what's going to allow people to trust you, to love you, to support you, to motivate you, and to do the same in turn for other people. 
So there's different ways that you can, as you create a list, um, that's one of your first jobs um, this week is going to be creating that list so that you can start talking to people and opening up to people and let them see your life and get a glimpse of who you are and what, you know, sneak peek of your, your personal life and how you can better help them. So you're going to be building a contact list. You're going to connect with them. Um, you can connect with them by commenting, by liking their stories, and um, watch people who are doing the same to you and connect with those people. Connect with Instagram stories. Those who are watching your stories, go watch their stories and make comments and, you know, just be friends with people because that's what's going to um, get you there. That's what's going to help you see those, those results. So, um, and then, like I said, at the end of the day, it's just about building relationships. So often, the conversation naturally will turn to health and fitness, which allows it, again, to turn to beach body and what you're doing, simply because you've built a relationship and they simply were curious. They wanted to know more. And so as you do that, and as you just talk like you're talking to your best friend in real life through text messaging or sitting at the park chatting away while your friends play at the playground, that's what business or that's what this coaching business is literally all about is connecting and when you truly connect and you know share your life people are going to be genuinely interested in what you're doing to create a new life for you and your family so um you will have a more in detailed lesson as you go through coach university that kind of goes over this some more um Again, we'll talk about building your list, but here's a sheet that you can put the month, January, February, March, April. You can print multiples of these out, but here's how you're going to do it. You're gonna write their name down. You're gonna like and comment on a recent Facebook and Instagram post. You're gonna watch and comment on their stories. You're gonna start talking to them. You're gonna follow up, and they're either gonna purchase you from you, or you're gonna add them to a, no, a new month to continue to build your relationship. It's that simple. There's one, two, three, four, five steps guys, five ways to talk to people, five ways to connect. They'll purchase from you or you'll put them on your list um, for, you know, maybe it's January, February or March or April. Maybe it's three months from now, you're going to connect with them again and like their stories and continue to build that relationship. So they know that you're genuinely interested in them and not selling a product. That's what's going to make you successful is having that solid relationship. So Five steps to talking to people, okay? Keep short, keep sweet, keep simple. No one has time to read long paragraphs. People are gonna see that and be like, oh, I will talk to her later and they'll never get back to you. Keep short, sweet, simple, just as if you're texting and we'll go over that. If the conversation dies, say goodbye. No need to drag out a conversation that is being pulled, guys. Like, would you do that in real life? Would you sit there and be like, oh, she's not talking anymore. I'm gonna ask her another question. No, if the conversation dies, say goodbye and um, be relatable. As you talk to people, you will connect with them. Why? We're humans. I don't care what ethnicity you are, what age you are, where you grew up. Guys, we're human. We have a heart. We have the capacity to love. And there is something that you can connect with, with the person that you're talking to. And that's where you're going to find your common ground and you're going to be relatable. And we'll talk about what that means here in just a minute. You're always going to end with the question because that's what's going to keep the conversation going. Unless it's time to say goodbye and let the conversation die. And you're going to breadcrumb. You're going to give them short, sweet, simple, just enough information so they're wanting to know a little bit more. You're gonna leave those little breadcrumb pieces so they want to follow your trail as you go, right? So let's talk about what this means. Keep messages short. Just as if you're texting or chatting on the phone or out to lunch with your best friend, you're not gonna sit there and you're not gonna carry on the full conversation, right? You go out to lunch, you're not gonna sit there and be like, carry on 20 minute conversation, let them talk for five, and then you can't talk for 20, right? It's a balanced conversation. So if you're texting with someone, you're not gonna text this five paragraph essay to them, you're gonna send them a couple sentences, let them respond, and you're just gonna go back and forth, because no one has time to read a lot. It just isn't gonna happen. So keep them short, keep them sweet, keep them simple, just like you're chatting with your BFF. Right? If you use emojis in real life, you use emojis when you are messaging people because that's who you are. Be unapologetically you. If the conversation dies, say goodbye. 
it's okay. You can go back later. You can talk to them. Never, ever, ever force a conversation. Keep building the relationship. Send them happy birthday messages. Check in every once in a while. Follow up with them. See how life's going. But don't ever force a conversation. They'll say, leave me alone. They'll unfollow you. They'll unfriend you. Be relatable, okay? When they're opening up and talking to you that they don't have time to work out, you know, I can relate with that. When I started, I was a full-time teacher working full-time. I didn't have time to breathe. I understand what that's like. That's why I like 21 Day Fix because it's only 30 minutes. Um, when they're talking to you about, you know, infertility and miscarriages, that's where I can say I struggled with that too. Let me tell you what I did. Let me tell you what testing I had done. Um, when they're talking to you about the, how they become an emotional eater, and that's where you connect with, I totally get it. I would sneak in at, you know, after my family was asleep, I'd go eat the brownies in the middle of the night because I was stressed, okay? Where do you connect, okay? I know the feeling. I thought the exact same thing. I struggle with this too. I totally get it. That's what's going to connect you guys together and form that relationship and that bond that's going to eventually allow that person to say, let's do it, okay? So be relatable as you're talking to these people. End with a question, okay? When you're talking to people, what have you been up to this summer? How was Hawaii? I just saw your pictures, like we're wanting to go there. Um, are you guys going to your parents for the holidays, you know? These are questions that are easy, you know, as you're talking to people, just continually ask these questions so that you can carry on a conversation, a real genuine conversation. Uh, one thing I love, when people start asking me about Beachbody or what I'm doing, this is where I can relate, right? Like, yes, let's chat. Tell me more about you. What are your current health and fitness goals? What are your struggles? Okay. This is a question that I ask everyone. If you've ever joined my team, if you've, I've ever been your coach, I've asked you this question. You go through our messages and I will say, let's chat. Tell me more about you. What are your current health and fitness goals? What are your struggles? Okay. This is how I know I, how I can help you, right? If you know I don't know about your story, how can I help you? If I don't know you're an emotional eater, how can I help you with that? If I don't know you had knee surgery and so you can't do high impact, how am I going to recommend a workout for you? You have to ask them about their current health and fitness goals. When you, that conversation naturally flips over to that, ask them, okay, so that you know how to best help them. And then breadcrumb, okay? Like I said, people don't have the time to read long paragraphs, so keep it short, sweet, and simple. And um, I know that when people ask you about Beachbody or they saw your workout and they want to know what workout you're doing, it's so exciting. And it's so easy to word vomit everything, right? You want to give them all this information because you're super excited. Don't. Take a breath. Relax. And know that you're going to breadcrumb. You're going to give them just enough information let them follow your trail so they're wanting to know a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more, okay? Don't write out like, oh, I love Beach Party, Beach Party is this, it's changed my life, it's done this. Okay, start with like, oh, I love, I've been doing 21 Day Fix. Are you familiar with it? I've been doing yoga. Do you like yoga? Okay, keep it short, sweet, simple, end with those questions and always just breadcrumb them. So, people are interested. Don't be afraid. When all of a sudden the conversation turns to a meal that you post on Facebook and they want to know if you have healthy recipes for them, okay? Don't ever be scared to invite, okay? You wouldn't be scared to invite if your favorite person, Tim McGraw, Lady Gaga, whoever you love is coming to your city and they're going to rock a concert, you would ask your best friend if they wanted to go with you, right? You wouldn't want to go alone. And that's simply what you're doing with coaching. It's something you love. It's something you do. You don't want them to like not go with you, right? So don't be afraid. If you went out to dinner, no matter how expensive your dinner was, and it was the most amazing food in the world, you're going to tell your best friend about it to tell their husband to go take you out, right? If you wanted to plan a trip with your best friend to Disneyland with your kids, you wouldn't be afraid. Okay, you're simply inviting them to join in your life. So never, ever, ever be afraid of that. And um, with social media, I love the book Jab, Jab, Right Hook by Gary Vaynerchuk. He's amazing. Um, it's an amazing personal development book for any coach. I would highly recommend you read it. Um, but they talk about the difference between a jab, jab, and a right hook post, right? Like just like real life, like 
you know, the whole point of jab, jab, and then hooking them with your right hook. So let's talk about what that means. A jab is Gage's trigger. It's that emotion, it's that quality posting that you're like, oh, she's working out. Oh, she struggles with hitting place some mornings. Oh, she's doing emotional eating. Oh, she is going to Hawaii. Oh, she has to get her kids' passports because of this coaching thing. She gets to take her kids on a trip. Those are little jab, jab hooks. They give them a little bit of information to your life on social media. Um, just a little bit of jab, 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 jab. Here's what I do. Here's my life story. Here's what I dealt, I dealt with. And then all of a sudden, you're right hook them, right? Your right hook helps self-promote. It helps you hook them in to your challenge group, into your life, into coaching, okay? So they're also called call to action posts, so you'll see that a lot. But in social media, you're going to constantly be doing a jab, 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 and all of a sudden you're going to create a right hook post to engage that conversation, to invite them into your life. Okay, so realize that you are going to have those right hooks. You're going to create a challenge group right hook post to invite and have them call to action. Who wants to join me? Okay, you're going to create these. And then Instagram polls. This is another unit that I'll talk about and go into more in-depth detail. But the Instagram polls are an easy way to invite. You know, when you post a recipe, is this something you would like? Yes or no? You know, I'm going to move you. Would I rather see Spider-Man or... Um, I can't think of a movie right now. Um, bucket list. Or I don't know. Whatever's out there, right? You know, like Instagram polls are a great way to be able to invite people into your life as well. Like I'm going on a cruise. Do I want this swimsuit or this swimsuit as you're in the, you know, trying to mod at Target or whatever it is. So you're going to use Instagram polls to invite to your challenge groups as well. Like, hey, I've got a six day mom boot camp. Was this something you'd be interested in? Yes. Or I'm too afraid. You know, are they too afraid? I love the I'm too afraid post because that's something you can still send a message and be like, why? What's holding you back? Why are you too afraid to go and join and change your life, right? Or yes, that's an instant way to be able to eat, dive right into health and fitness and ask that. Let's chat. Tell me more about you. What are your current goals? What are your struggles? And, you know, all that kind of stuff, right? It's an instant. When you ask about health and fitness on your Instagram polls, it's an instant in to be able to ask, let's chat. Tell me more about you. What are your current health and fitness goals? What are your struggles? Instant access, instant into that um, conversation to make it easy. And we'll talk about Instagram polls more in Coach University as well. So let's say you sent out that Instagram post or that poll. You did a right hook call to action post and they're interested. Someone says they liked it, they commented, they put that GIF below. And they put the emoji below that they want more information. Take a breath. Remember the rules of keeping things short, being relatable, to end with the question, to breadcrumb. Okay? Remember that. So you're going to send the invite. Someone said they're interested in your poll on Instagram. Someone said that on your call to action post on Facebook or Instagram that they're interested. So let's walk through that process. How do we start? To closing the deal. So here we go. Hey, Sarah, we're always going to use their name. So they know it's not a copy and pasted message, right? Hey, Sarah, I would love to have you in my upcoming challenge group. Let's chat. Tell me more about you. What are your current health and fitness goals? What are your struggles? Okay. I kept it short. I kept it simple. Obviously, I'm not relatable here. That's going to come as we carry on this conversation. Okay. So here's some examples of some right hook call to actions that this may have stemmed from, okay? So like a new program is coming out and I get to be in the test group, a challenge group, a sale post. I'm just going to click on a challenge group and you have access to this. You know, you printed it out, so you have access to all this. So here's a call to action, okay? I showed my before and after pictures. People are interested, I have 26 comments, and people says that either I'm amazing, they want more information, um, this girl, you know, I can send, send a thing to, um, these are people I'm going to go through and comment. Or those people who liked, I can go through and comment saying, hey, thanks for liking my post, it meant so much to me, like, 
what have you been up to? Or is this something you'd be interested in? I just didn't know if you'd be interested in something like this. Um, you know, it's an easy way to connect and invite on those bright hook call to action posts. So here are some examples. Um, I'll click on one, just one more. This is a new program um, that came out. So I get to be in the coach exclusive test group. and I was going to invite others to join me. So I got accepted and got to bring 10 people with me. Okay, so again, 47 comments. Um, these are people who might be interested in, so I can go through and talk to these people, right? And those who like. And I can simply say this. Hey, I would love to have you in the new Transform 20 group. Let's chat. Tell me more about you. What are your current health and fitness goals? What are your struggles? Okay, super easy to do. So, when you ask them, they might say something like this. My struggles are finding the time. I want to lose fat and build muscle. I want to do things without being out of breath. I want to be able to eat healthy and feel satisfied. Right now, I feel I'm always hungry. Okay? So think about it. I'm going to keep this short. I'm going to be relatable. I'm going to end with a question, and I'm going to breadcrumb. Okay? So here's how I would answer. Is, I would say, I'm going to turn the conversation over to Beach Body on Demand. Okay, that's the next point of your invite process is turning that conversation over to Beach Body on Demand. I totally understand that. Look it, I'm relatable right there. I totally understand that. When I first started my own journey, I was a full time mom, wife, and teacher. I didn't have time to breathe. I finally found something that works because it was only 30 minutes. Now I'm a crazy busy mom to three kids and I love that I can squeeze in my workouts from the comfort of my own home with Beachbody On Demand. Are you familiar with Beachbody On Demand? Okay, I kept it short. I was relatable. I ended with a question with Beachbody On Demand. I flipped the conversation to Beachbody On Demand and I breadcrumbed. I gave them just enough information and now they're wondering, what is Beachbody On Demand? What is that? Okay. Their answer most likely is going to be like, nope, never heard of it. Is it streaming? Or I don't know, but I don't have a TV. I get that a lot too. I have heard of Beachbody or I have done 21 Day Fix or something. This is most likely going to be kind of in the realm of their answers. So now you're going to turn the conversation over to Shakeology so they get a glimpse. I'm going to breadcrumb them with Shakeology to let them know what that is. So how do I describe Beachbody on Demand? It's literally the Netflix of fitness. Beachbody On Demand allows me to stream every program that Beachbody has ever created and will create through streaming and so much cheaper than any gym membership. You can stream from any device that you have, um, that, you, that you have a web browser, or you can use it on Roku, Amazon Fire, or Apple TV. You would have unlimited access to top-notch programs like P90X, Insanity, 21 Day Fix, Pio, T25, Shift Shop, Port of Horse, and so many more. They have tons of 30-minute workouts like 21 Day Fix, so you can get a killer workout and easy-to-follow meal plan. It's awesome not having to leave home to go to a gym. Right now, they have a huge deal going on where you can get a bag of Shakeology for literally half off. Do you know much about Shakeology? So look, I just breadcrumbed them about Shakeology. Mm, I don't really know what Shakeology is. What is that? Hmm. but I give them all the information they need to know. It wasn't very long, okay? And um, I told them about what Beachbody On Demand is, why I love it. Okay, they have 30-minute workouts. Okay, she struggled with working out because she doesn't have time to breathe. So 30 minutes, anyone can squeeze in 30 minutes, right? I explained what it was, that it was cheaper than a gym membership. I kept short. I was relatable. I ended with the question, and I breadcrumbed. Okay, so most likely their answer is, it's a protein shake, right? Never heard of it. It's a meal replacement. My friend drinks it at work. Okay, so whatever they respond, you're going to respond back with. So here's how I describe Shakeology. Shakeology is a meal replacement shake. You drink it as one of your five meals throughout the day. Shakeology has over 40 superfoods that are loaded with essential nutrients to boost energy, enhance immunity, help with weight loss, and improve mood. There's nothing artificial in it. No artificial colors, sweeteners, no soy. Between the combination, your body is able to perform at its peak level. Here's where I'm relatable. When I participated in the 60 day challenge for myself, I drank it, worked out every day, except my day off, and stuck to my meal plan. I lost 20 inches in those 60 days. I continue, continue to drink Shakeology because I get nutrients that would be nearly impossible to eat throughout the day. 
I feel the difference on the days I don't drink it. I continue to have energy and I feel so much better. When you get Beachbody On Demand and Shakeology together, you just introduce the challenge pack to them. I put you in a virtual group with all my veteran and current clients. In the group, I share my personal meal plans, my favorite healthy recipes, and so much more. You truly learn how to live a healthy lifestyle, no more dieting. You would also get portion control containers to help you stay on track with nutrition and help you know what and how much to eat daily, a shaker cup, access to my virtual group. Do you want to see an example of a meal plan I have in a group? Guys, in the Rise and Inspire group, you have everything. All you have to do is find three to five people every month to put in it. You have meal plans. You have recipes. You have other coaches adding value. You're adding. Okay, even as a brand new coach, you have the confidence in the price because you know what they get. They know they're alone. Beach Valley on Demand is worth it, but they're going to get Shakeology. They're going to have access to everything, and you're going to share it with them, right? Everything's in there. Have confidence. Know that you, everything's already laid out for you. So, I, you know, when you offer a meal plan, do you want to see what it looks like? Of course they're going to say yes. Here I was able to keep it short. I was relatable. I ended with the question, and I breadcrumbed, right? I asked him, do you want to see an example of a meal plan? Now I'm introducing the whole package. So when I tell them about the price, they're not like sticker shock. They're getting so much value for this price. So I'm going to share a meal plan that is already in the Rise and Inspire community group that I can just pull up and show them. So here's a meal plan I did for Ship Shop. The letters under, under represent the color portion control container the meal is. For example, red protein, greens, veggies, peas, fruit, all that kind of stuff. I sent them the Google Doc link. Take a look. Let me know what you think. Okay, I was short, relatable. I wasn't really relatable here, but I'm sharing what I have. So I am being relatable in that aspect. I'm ending with the question. I didn't end up the question on this one, but take a look and let me know what you think. Okay, this is a great way for me to follow up because if they don't ever comment back or message me back, I can easily say, hey, I want to see if you had a minute to look over that meal plan I sent you. What are your thoughts? Does it look like a good fit for you? And then I'm just breadcrumbing them. I'm giving them enough information to want to know a little bit more. Okay, like I said, this is a great way to follow up. If they don't get back to me, I ask them. I follow up. I say, hey, just want to check in with you. Did you have a chance to look over the meal plan that I sent you? Does it look like a good fit for you? I'm down to my final spots in my challenge group. I want to see what you're thinking. Do you want me to save you a spot? Okay. Most likely they're going to say yes, but how much is it going to cost me? Now they're worried about the price. I love everything you have to offer. Tell me about the price. Like I said, be confident. Okay. I bought my challenge pack at 160 bucks. I got one DVD with it. Okay, this is cheaper than a gym membership, cheaper than so many diets out there, guys, when they're getting all this food sent to them every single month. Um, be confident and know that this is an amazing price, okay? So I tell them, I love that you can get Beachbody On Demand for an entire year, and it's so much cheaper than a gym membership. Guys, when you do the math, it's eight bucks a month. Like, how awesome is that? You're not going to find a gym membership for less than that. You're not going to find, if they did, they're going to have to pay extra for classes, extra for a nutritionist, extra, you know, gym membership quarterly fee for cleaning and maintenance and everything else, the gas to go to the gym, the babysitting they have to pay, all that adds up, right? And they can be trotting on a map for eight, it's like eight something a month, so less than nine bucks a month they're getting it. Okay, so right now they can get the all access. Beachbody On Demand Challenge Pack on sale. You have unlimited streaming to all the Beachbody programs ever released and will be released this year. It'll be programs like Pio, 21 Day Fix, P90X, Turbo Fire, Brazilian Butt Lift, Lift Quarter Force, all these and many more. So what do they get? This is where I lay it all out, okay? I literally put numbers. One, unlimited streams, unlimited streaming. Two, meal plan with portion control containers so you don't have to count calories. Three, access to my virtual groups for support, motivation, accountability. Four, healthy recipes for your, you and your family. Five, a Shakeology Shaker Cup. Six, your first month of Shakeology. Seven, my personal meal plans to help you meal plan for you and your family. Me as your coach so you do not fail is number eight. It's usually $1.99 for everything, which the original price when it came out was $1.99, but it's on sale for $1.60. What are your thoughts? You're ready to do this? 
And this is where, when they say yes, you're going to do share cart, which you guys watched how to do share cart. You guys can rewatch that if you have questions. Super easy to do to, sh you know, put everything in their cart. And so, um, th yeah, this is where you're going to send out the link to them. Um, they might say something like, I think so, but how much is Shakeology after the first month? Okay, I get that question a lot. How much is it going to cost me in month two and three and four? Okay, you can get it at my discount. This is where you, uh, you offer them the opportunity to sign up as a coach to get the discount because it's literally the cheapest way. Even with the coach fee every single month starting the second month, it's still cheaper. They get the Shakeology for about $4 a day instead of about $4.20 a day. Um, so I explained, you can get it at my discount for about $4 a day, $120 a month. I had to get in the mindset of buying in bulk. I am literally paying for 30 meals at a time, you know, for Shakeology. It's similar to making a Costco or a Sam's Club trip, right? When you go to Sam's Club, Costco, you know you're going to be 200 bucks just for that trip, right? Because you're buying in bulk. It's the same thing. So um, when did you want to get yours ordered so I can save you a spot? So get that commitment date so they can, you can follow up with them on Friday or Thursday night. If they say they were ready to get on Friday on Thursday night, you can say, hey, just checking in, you, in with you. So are you super excited? I can't wait to add you to the group. Get them all pumped and ready to go. Send that share cart link with them right away so they can, you know, check out when they're ready. And you can follow up when they haven't checked out. Um, so, yay, I'm beyond excited for you. I'll be here every single step of the way. You are going to be my next success story. Give them that confidence. Let them know that they are capable of this, that they're going to see some amazing things and they are going to be your next success story. And then you ask them, do you want to sign up for Shakeology so you get the discount on Shakeology every month? Just send me your email and flavor um, and Shakeology and I'll send you the link to check out. It's super easy. If they want to sign up as a coach, I explain to them, it's free to sign up as a coach. It literally, they waive the startup fee. There's no um, coaching fee or startup fee um, to get the discount. Starting the second month is a $15.95 coach fee. However, they get a 25% discount on their product. So um, that with taxes, everything to pay on the state, it's about $120 a month with their coach fee and everything, taxes, shipping, everything. If not, it's $129.95 a month. Um, and then it adds up from there. So, you know, they have taxes, shipping, everything else. So they're, send, they're saving at least 10 to $30 a month, depending on state taxes and everything like that. So I send them the share link, okay? Oh no, they told you no. Let's say they told you no and you can't send a share link. It happens. It happens a lot, guys, okay? Fact number one. Do you know how many times I have been told Many, many, many. Do you know that 90% of the time of my coaches has told me no? Okay. A no just means not right now. It means they're simply not ready and the yes will come later. Keep track of your no's. Don't give up on someone until they give you that yes or no. Once the no comes, don't stop talking to them. Continue to build a relationship and keep in contact with them. Okay. That's what's going to turn that no into a yes six months, a year later, a week later. You never know when they're ready to say yes. Fact number two, did you know that on average you will get one yes for every 30 no's? So think about that. How many times do you have to ask someone to join you before they say yes? So if your goal is to hit success club five or 10, how many people do you need to talk to daily? How many people do you need to invite? At the end of the day, continue to build that relationship. That's what's going to make you a successful coach. Follow-ups, okay? The fortune's in the follow-up, guys. So many times they read your message and life happens, they forget about it, okay? They're like, oh, I'll respond to her later, and they never do because life happens, right? So quick ways to follow up. Hey, Megan, I just thought I would check with you because I know how life can be crazy busy. Did you have a chance to look over the the meal plan, the video clip I sent you of the workout, the menu that you sent them, you know, the price, talking to your husband, whatever it is, what are your thoughts? Is this something that looks like a good fit for you? Okay. Or, hey, I just want to touch base with you because I'm down to my final two spots in my upcoming challenge group. I know I sent you the link, but I haven't seen anything go through. Did you have any issues getting signed up? 
Maybe they had a tech issue. Maybe they entered the credit card in and they had no idea that they entered it incorrectly and never went through. Okay, follow up. And there are some other ways to follow up. Hey, you know, Brittany, just thought I would check in with you. I know you're away. I wanted to get, get into my upcoming challenge group, but I haven't heard back. I'm down to my final two spots. Are you still wanting to join in? Let me know your thoughts. Okay, just checking in with you, Kinsey. I know how busy life can get, and sometimes it's hard to find time to breathe, let alone get on Facebook. Anyways, I just thought I would check in with you. Did you have time to read the last message that I sent? Okay, super easy to follow up. Let's say again that they say no. What I like to do is I like to create objection posts um, on Facebook because you had objections, right? When you first started, you had objections. So what were they? Um, write about it. You know, write about those objections. Did you have a, a Shakeology objection because of the price? Write about it, guys. This is an example. You can click on these and find examples of ones that I have done. Um, I just realized I have the wrong link in there, but I'll click on this one. Okay, truth. I got my first bag of Shakeology five years ago, and I honestly only plan on getting one because we were poor and I didn't even could afford Shakeology. Okay, this is where I explain how I've been able to afford. Look at 23 comments. Okay, 17 people have liked it. Someone shared it. Okay. This is where I create the objection posts. They too know I had these same objections. Okay. Um, uh, I just don't have the money. Life is too busy. I'm afraid to fail. You know, I go to the gym. Here's some examples that you can click through. You know, why go to the gym when Netflix, when the Netflix of fitness is cheaper? Um, I don't have the money. I'm afraid to fail. You know, you can click on these. Someone who says they go to the gym, you can create a Facebook post about, yeah, I used to go to the gym too until I stopped using it or before I was afraid or, you know, whatever it is that, you know, was you, where, where you're relatable, okay? Again, here's a post that I created, people commenting exactly, you know, thinking their thoughts, all that fun stuff. So create those objection posts so people too know, or people know that you too were afraid of, you know, failing, or you're afraid of this or that, or you're afraid of the price, or they drink another shake, it's just as good, or theirs has less sugar in it. Well, yeah, it's gonna have less sugar because of the ingredients in it. Have you read the ingredients? You know, here's another one I did, you know, um, with Shakeology and sugar, and explain why your shake has less sugar and what's put in it to make it happen so it's less sugar. Okay, so tomorrow you start the action. Okay, tomorrow is all action packed. So when I get into Facebook and I go into Coach University, you're gonna find the action post. So let's explain what is up and what's coming. Okay, so from here on out is action based training. Okay, you are going to hit Success Club this month. You are going to go Emerald the next two weeks, and this is how you're going to do it right here. What we just talked about okay so tomorrow you're gonna to learn more about this business activity tracker right and how to use the business activity tracker um, right here so you're gonna start using this tomorrow check in with me take a picture at the end of the week and send it to me I want to see it I don't care if Thursday your kid was sick and you never worked send it to me and leave that that day blank but this is where I can help you as your coach. I can say, oh girl, we're not working on you. You haven't worked out in a week. This is why you're struggling. Or girl, you haven't sent out an invite or posted to social media. Let me help you, okay? I, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to start filling it out. So tomorrow, you're gonna commit to filling that out. Then you're gonna build your contact list, okay? You're gonna go through and you're going to build that contact list like we talked about. You'll have a unit right here on building your contact list. And um, you're gonna talk about um, Instagram stories. You're gonna actually start posting to Instagram stories. If you're not used to it, you're gonna start getting used to it, okay? And you're gonna take one of those Instagram stories and you're gonna change them into a quality post on Facebook and you're gonna share about it, okay? You're gonna create a why I decided to coach post. You're gonna start connecting with those likes and comments in those Instagram stories. Okay, you're going to um, connect with Instagram polls because you're going to create an Instagram poll and you're going to connect to those people who have commented or responded to those Instagram polls that you created. You're going to create your right hook post for your upcoming challenge group because you are committed 
to hitting success club this month and going emerald this month okay so you're going to do all those things and at the end of the day you're going to hit success club five or ten whatever your goal is but five is your minimum three people your only goal everything else is there for you all the help the challenge group everything is there for you you just have to find those three to five people you just have to start being active in the Rise and Inspire community, sharing a meal that you have, sharing your workout, sharing Shakeology, because that's what a coach does. That's all you have to do is find three people. And you're gonna do that by doing the vital behaviors every single day. You're gonna do that by building relationships every single day, to talking to people, to using Instagram stories, to using social media as an influencer, by being you. You can do this, guys. I am proof of it. I am no one, okay? I was a first grade teacher turned coach, and here I am building a business, and it's possible. It's in your hands. You're never stuck, okay? So let's get through Coach University. Let's get you hitting Success Club. Let's get you emeralds in the next week or two, and you can do some amazing things. So let's do this. Have a wonderful day.